Hi friends, this is Naman. Today I came up with an interesting topic for you all. During this lockdown period, I had seen my dad working on this software which is called Microsoft Excel or MS Excel. It was fun to see how he was computing huge tables and calculations in few seconds and then I started exploring it and learning it myself. So I thought I would make this video to share my experience and help other kids learn this awesome tool. But be cautious, just learn this for improving skills. As we are kids, we must do calculations ourselves to keep our brain sharp. In this video, we will talk about basics on MS Excel and mathematical operations using Excel. Microsoft Excel is a helpful and powerful program for data analysis and documentation. It is a spreadsheet program which contains a few columns and rows. Rows run horizontally across the worksheet and columns run vertically downwards the worksheet. Cells are small boxes in the worksheet where we enter data. A cell is the in intersection of a row and a column. It is identified by row number and column heading such as A1, A2 and so on. We can scroll the worksheet up or down by scrolling mouse wheel or using vertical and horizontal sco scroll bars to move the worksheet. Click on the drop down menu here. We will find many options for number formats like currency, date, time, percentage etc. We can type any number in the cell and as you see we can add number of digits after the decimal or reduce it. We can double click between the two columns and automatically adjust the width of the cell. Click this drop down. Click currency. We have various options of currency for all countries. You can choose for any country currency. This feature is very useful for accounting purposes to identify the currency. I choose here Indian rupee. After selecting one, you type a number and you get the currency symbol automatically. That cell has the currency property. Friends, I hope you are learning from my video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more videos. Now coming to sequencing. Huh? This Excel sequencing is very interesting feature where this function returns a list of sequential numbers in an array as you see here. In this example, I tab 1 in one cell and 2 in, in a second cell. Then select both and extend the row. You can see the sequence. Interesting. Check out more examples here. You can see multiples of di different numbers. Not only number sequencing. You will be amazed to see Excel even has sequencing for weekdays and months too. Sequencing can be used in a row or column. Just check here. Don't forget to try on your own.
Similarly, type January and drag the cell towards the right side. Amazingly, we can see the months array listed automatically. Now, let us learn how to do additions using Excel. Type the numbers in each cell and then type equal to and then click the each of the addend with plus in between. Enter after this to get the answer. The other way use a formula equal to and then type sum and select the addend. Press enter and get the answer. Now, similar way we can also do that for subtraction. Just type equal to and then select the numbers to subtract from each other. Same way is multiplication. Type equal to and select the multiplying numbers with star and enter to get the answer. That's As we use slash for fractions and fractions means division so we use slash for division. Enter to get the answer. I hope you learned from my videos. If you like them please give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet then please subscribe and click the note bell button for getting more notifications and please share my videos to your family and friends. Thank you.